This is a receipt of Newbreed confessing that one of his alleged baby mamas uh, kicked him out the house. for practicing polygyny. In other words, once she found out that this ninja had some other woman, she said, I don't want to hear none of that polygyny stuff. Get the heck out this house. He tried to bring another broad inside. His woman said, hell no, you ain't bringing her in here, ninja. New Breed is one of my students. New Breed is a spiritual son of mine that is rebellious. Dude basically said, I'm his inspiration. Not only that, he said, I've been holding it down as a father, I've been an inspiration for all the brothers leading the way. Check it out, fam. I ain't making this up. Check out the hey. tapes. Check it out. Catch that from the beginning. Watch the playback. Man, righteous work. I heard probably the last like 10 minutes. Man, I just want to commend you, brother, for holding it down for all these years, man. He's commending me for holding it down all these years. This is the same dude who went online calling me a pedophile, fam. Making up lies. This is the same dude. Now y'all gotta ask yourself a question. How is it that new breed going around saying that Ringo TV is a pedophile off of false allegations? When a dude is on tape telling me, you know, he's saluting me for holding it down all these years. Well, it's new breed supporters who are incredibly slow and they venerate new breed more than they do the most high. I mean, so much to the point where they don't ask no questions. They don't hold this ninja accountable for nothing. Just a bunch of empty-headed mannequins. And the thing is, most of these ninjas are men. I mean, I can understand to a degree the women defending new breed because they are the weaker vessel. And that's just the way the Most High made them. But the men, you Negroes, act like you pregnant with his baby. Just using no logic at all, just pure emotion, talking about what New Breed is building. Listen, we've seen this story before. We've seen Umar Johnson, Brother Polite. They've produced nothing. They finesse the people out of their money. You Negroes are idolaters. And New Breed used to be just like you, soaking in everything Ringo said as gospel. You're weak. You're pathetic. Just a bunch of fanboys. These ninjas treat the word of God like it's the NBA. Talking about we building. He's building. Building what? Just like in the NBA, the front office say we're going to build around LeBron James as our franchise player. This, this is how these ninjas are thinking. I mean, just folly. I mean, ninjas are not sober-minded whatsoever. They don't know how to turn their mind on and off from sports to the word of God. Okay, it's a time and place for everything, particularly when it comes to discerning men by their fruits. As I said in the previous video, the heathen is used by the enemy to build and sustain them devil obligations under the directive of satanic employment. Just look at Elijah Muhammad, Yahweh ben Yahweh, uh, even Dirty Low Dow. Every notorious cult leader builds something that, that involves a lot of money and a lot of people. But we are to look at his fruits and the doctrine he teaches. Okay, that's what matters. When looking at New Breed's fruits, we got to look at the contradictions. He's always caught up in contradictions, but let's continue. When a dude is on tape telling me, you know, he's saluting me for holding it down all these years. Now, why would you be saluting a man for holding it down all these years? And then you flip the script, stab him in the back, and go out there and slander his name with false allegations, man. A family man. And being an inspiration to a lot of brothers in these spaces, man. He said that I've been an inspiration to a lot of brothers in these spaces. Me, an inspiration. And you're wondering why a dude want the same dresser like me. You're wondering why he want a lawnmower. <laughs> you're wondering why he trying to get his house furnished for free. Because he's trying to keep up with your boy. That's what he's trying to do. It's crazy, fam. Let's go. I got to salute you. He got to salute me. Think about that, fam. He's saluting me. Hey, man, you've been a family man this whole time. I've been a family man this whole time. I've been a family man this whole time. But now you see him dropping dirt on my name, fam. Come on now. You can't see the play? <laughs> Showing brothers the way. Showing brothers the way, which means all of these brothers been following me, fam. I haven't been following these cats. 
These cats have been watching me the whole time. I've been teaching these YouTubers how to tie their shoes. I've been teaching these brothers in the truth how to follow the most high. I've been teaching these men how to be fathers, how to be providers. But for some reason, dude forgot his lessons. This is why I said Ringo TV and No Breed are one flesh. This is definitely an ungodly soul tie, but there's a lot of mud attached to the name of New Breed because he also fell out with brainwaves. So you must remember, New Breed said he wants to separate church and state for the sake of business with this land initiative. But just look at the aftermath of his fallouts with these guys. He actually, from his perspective, ended up unifying church and state. Because New Breed only turned back to the scriptures to rebuke his enemies and also to use scare tactics, gaslighting his following by covering end times revelation. Then, if you listen carefully, somewhere in his speech, he's talking about love notes as a new currency. But if you were using logic, it's like, how did you go from teaching the fall of Babylon to talking about love notes? Then he dress up the scriptures to manipulate his following into embracing the idea of a new currency. When you're establishing a monetary system, an avalanche of blood will always be shed. Okay, just look at American history. This is why in Revelation 18, it describes how in one hour, all of her riches, who is hers? Talking about America. Okay, all of her riches came to nothing. The, it, it, it describes Mystery Babylon, okay? Mystery Babylon the Great has fallen, okay? It's a mystery because you would have to look at the description of this great nation, okay? Which is also described as spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom. They adhere to the doctrines of Sodomites, okay? That's how I know it's America. So when America falls... There'll be no building. There's no building anything. Building communities. You can't build a community and that community fulfill what you're trying to convey through the scriptures in these end times. And there'll be martial law and then there'll be eminent domain. They'll have checkpoints and so forth. And they can just come and snatch your community. Look at what they did to Dirty Low Dow. I mean, have you forgot? Remember with Daniel Muir? Now, I understand Daniel Muir deserved to be arrested, but that just goes to show you the power of the U.S. military. The only one that's going to get us out of this is the Most High, because he's the one that is allowed the heathen to rule the nations thus far. Now, it would be different if Nubri said the land will be a safe haven just for the Israelites, and that would just be somewhere the Israelites can come and do the jamboree or whatsoever. But that's not what he's saying. He's also inviting the Gentiles, not understanding also that there's a judgment pending against them. And they're going to panic when they realize things will never be business as usual for them ever again. Because they always want to be comfortable having the so-called black man under them. So how serious are you to really take new breed? Ringo's so-called protege. Okay, the so-called teacher's pet. You're witnessing New Breed's devil obligations in the flesh. This man was so covetously driven that he didn't even see the devil playing the other side in Ringo TV. <laughs> but New Breed has always been compromised. All I'm showing is the truth, fam. Let's go. Man, it's commendable, brother. Real talk. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Just remain calm and I already know you're going to bring the truth. And you already know I'm going to bring the truth. Stay balanced. That's because you're one of the pioneers of this. And he just said that I'm one of the pioneers, fam. It don't get no better than that. Dude said that Ringo TV is one of the pioneers, fam. Me. But now he online talking about garbage, bro. A lot of brothers going to be stealing your talking points. A lot of brothers going to be stealing my talking points, fam. Come on. He, he's telling you. A lot of brothers going to be stealing my talking points, fam. And they, they figure they can suppress you. That's because you're one of the pioneers of this. And a lot of brothers going to be stealing your talking points. Right, and right. They, they figure they can suppress you then, you know, you, they won't get the root from where it came from. Now, I'm sure Ringo will take responsibility for teaching new breed polygyny, uh, this false doctrine, which cannot uphold this righteous in the eyes of God. But rather or not, he was the one who taught new breed polygyny. It still is sinful. But I'll get to that in a few. 
Yeah, man, I had to leave the one I was dealing with. You man. ain't have to leave, Ninja. She kicked you out the house. How do I know she kicked you out the house? Play the tape. I had to, man. I had to get a place, man. She was becoming... You had to get a place. You had to get a place. Why? Because she kicked you out her house. You were living at a woman's house. You were not living at your house. You were living in her house, fam. Why? Let's go. Dangerous to what I was building. She was dangerous for what you were building because the Most High allowed this to be a matriarchal kingdom and for the heathen to rule over this rebellious age. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12 says, Youths oppress my people and women rule over them. This verse does not even refer to the likes of Ahab and Jezebel because Ahab was the king of Israel. Okay, Isaiah 3.12 refers to the Israelites after their captivity to this day. Because some may say that Jezebel was running Ahab. Well, not quite, not in that sense. Jezebel influenced Ahab. There's a difference, okay? Because she still needed the king's stamp of approval to get her way. And also, I may add, even Jezebel was likely a virgin prior to her union with Ahab. The kings of Israel, when they married women of the foreign nations, they took the daughter of another statesman and they made treaties with that king or that ruler or his daughter in marriage. In my series, Polygyny is a Package Deal, I already explained Deuteronomy 17:17, 17, 17, where the Most High issued the children of Israel an eviction notice, okay? Because he knew it would be a rough transition for the Israelites from kingship to captivity in Babylon. This is why in Deuteronomy 17, 17, he said, a king shall not multiply wives unto himself, okay? Because the women committed spiritual adultery first. Then they turned the men's heart from God. Then later, to this day, they began to practice order. She was trying to basically destroy everything that I'm, I'm setting up. How is she trying to destroy what you're trying to set up? You said you practice polygyny. You claim that you're a man of God and how you believe the Most High want you to have all these wives, yet you can't afford to take care of these women. That's what you claim and that's what you told us. She wasn't having it. She kicked you out the house. So basically, New Breed does not even practice the counterfeit repackaged version of polygyny and he plays the hypocrite again the scriptures say by their fruits you will know their deeds but again these ninjas who try to repackage polygyny they can never clearly define what constitutes a concubine in this day because a concubine's covenant with a man was certainly documented in the old testament this is how they had grounds to beat and find a man who committed adultery with a concubine or slept with another man's concubine because they had everything documented. Really, Ringo TV accusing New Breed, again, the devil playing both sides. He's a hypocrite as well because number one, he does not practice polygyny. He only has one wife. Number two, he can't clearly define what a concubine is. So, He's falsely accusing New Breed in a way because, I mean, from his perspective, he is because a baby mama technically today is like a concubine. It's just all harlotry, okay? Because the New Testament, particularly in 1 Corinthians 7, just defines dual benevolence between a man and a woman, a husband and a wife. It says, let a man have his own wife and a woman her own husband and let them do benevolence one to the other so that Satan does not tempt them because they lack self-control. That's what the word of God says in the New Testament. I already done went through this in my polygyny series. Paul, as an apostle, was introducing new revelation. That's why he didn't regurgitate the law of Moses. He just told you the law killeth because now men are living in an adulterous generation. That's why he started 1 Corinthians 7 off by saying, because of sexual immorality, because men are going to be sex, it's immoral for not only for a man to lay with another man's wife, but it's also immoral for the kingship 
not to put that man to death for laying with that man's wife. I already talked about the law of jealousy as well. Okay, so you got concubines. They can't define what a concubine is. They also can't uphold the law of jealousy, which not only included putting another man to death for laying with another man's wife, but if that man laid with another man's concubine, not his baby mama, not his mistress, but a concubine is a position for a woman that is documented under the village or the township or whatever kingdom was established under patriarchal rule, okay? There's no child support. There's no alimony. These are all components of a matriarchal kingdom. For a woman to be able to take a man to court or even a woman to get an abortion without a man's permission, that's under the matriarchal kingdom. That's why the heathen will be judged for their deeds. Okay, again, we're looking at fruits, all right? Looking at new breed as the individual, I've already established even the counterfeit practice of polygyny, the repackaged version of polygyny. He's, this Negro's not even upholding that for you hypocrites who come here in the comments defending new breed like a woman. Okay, you get all caught up in your feelings because you don't read, you don't study your scriptures. You sound moronic trying to defend this duel, okay? You cannot practice polygyny to this day. It's impossible, okay? The woman also has an impurity. Women were consecrated. That's why we needed to have our own land, okay? The Israelites were consecrated from the heathens, okay? Also, you're not explaining the penalty that Israel would have to suffer from disobeying the Most High. You just expect business as usual, things to continue as usual. No, it doesn't work that way. Men had to be beaten and find some money. Okay, that was the system under patriarchal rule. The same way like under this matriarchal kingdom, if they want to garnish wages from your check, there's a system in place that documents that that man is the father of that child. and. That woman, if she wants to pursue alimony, they have documentation for that. The child, the mother, the husband, so forth. Okay. Under patriarchal kingdom, they had genealogies. They kept, that's, that's where genealogies come from. They had genealogy of whose son was who. That's the whole point of the book of numbers. They had documentation for whose wife belonged to who. And whose concubine belong to who? So that they can establish a penal system for judging those who disobey the law. But this new breed situation, the reason I'm talking about this, for those of you who want to hear the scriptures, we can learn from this. Because I'm rightly dividing word of truth. But I'm using an in the flesh example of what I'm talking about. So you can better understand it. All right? So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let's talk about this because the enemy is using people with bigger platforms to lead many souls to hell because guys are thinking they're in right standing with God practicing polygyny and that's not the case. Okay, every man is to have one wife. That's why the scriptures also said a bishop is only to have one wife. Otherwise, who would want to be a bishop? That's number one. Number two, if anyone is more spiritually prepared to deal with multiple women, it would be a bishop. Similar to how in the Old Testament, a king. But God in his infinite wisdom established the church so that a bishop can be an example to the other men in the church. That's the whole point of his position. The same way with Paul and the other apostles, the whole point of their position was to introduce new revelation, all right?